Okay, I'm going to try to describe the pool maintenance. So basically once a week, I like to add one of these blue tablets here. And I put that in that duck, which I'll show you in a minute. I also like to put the pool essential shock treatment. And I put that right in here. And I'll show you that. And then I clean the filter, which is inside here. Alright, so the first step is you got to turn off the water supply coming in and out of the pool. So, that's with these knobs. So, you can see on there it's got a, a left and a right for locking. So, you want to lock it. So, you turn it all the way to the clockwise. Same with this one. So now there's no water coming in and out of the pool. And I take this off. And I usually take this out and clean it. But I just did that yesterday. So I try to just wedge it down in there just to cover. And it, it traps a lot of the, the hair and you know leaves and stuff like that. So once those are out, one of the first steps is follow it to the pump and just unscrew this and clean that up. Hold on, I need both hands. Alright, so you just unscrew this and then you'll see it gets caked up with, with hair which probably won't be there because we're taking Buddy. So you just get that out of there throw it on the lawn or whatever's in there. It could be leaves. And screw that right back in. You don't have to go super tight, but somewhat tight. Now on the filter, unscrew the top. It releases the pressure. It doesn't have to be all the way. And then on the bottom, this is the drain plug. This one I usually do take all the way out. Let it drain. And while that's draining, I unscrew this whole top ring. So I'm going to put the phone down for a second and get that started. Alright, so once that's loose, you just take that off, set it aside, take this whole top piece off. easier with two hands. And you'll see it draining fast there now. And you're just draining what's in the pipes basically. So then you pull the filter out and it's probably won't have to deal with one this dirty but what I usually do is just clean it out with the hose and I try to clean this out afterwards too but I'm gonna go over to the hose and clean this out. And basically I just run the hose up and down, back and forth, turn it over, and just get all this gunk off there. Oh, so maybe Alright, you saw the process here. Up and down. Getting all that gunk out of there. A lot of dog hair, bugs. Just keep turning it, turning it. Just turn it over to the other side. Yeah, I mean, filters aren't that expensive, but um, they can be reused for months. Uh, hold on. Alright, so back over here we see there's some junk down in there. 
Now you can use this or the other side to open it up a little, have some water go in there, and do another kind of rinse it out a little better. But basically, once you got it pretty good, just this pops in there, it kind of fits down inside there. I don't know if you can see it, but it fits around the ring down there. And one of the trickiest parts is getting this to go back on so it seals. You gotta make sure it's pretty even all the way around. See, that's a little off. And then the ring goes right on there, it tightens up. Tighten that up real good. Then on the bottom, oh shit, drop my phone. Oh man, all right. Put this bottom one back in. Hand tight is fine. And leave this one loose because we're pretty much ready to turn the water back on. So turn this all the way to the left. Turn the other one all the way to the left, and you'll start to hear the water come through. You can lift this up, and it's going to fill up. There, when it's full, you just close that up, and you can open this one up a little, and it lets the air out of the line. So once you see water flowing out of it, you just I just open it a little bit and then close it back up. Now the operation of the pump itself. To keep it on automatic, the switch goes all the way down, which it is now. So you can turn it up for on, and the middle is off, and then all the way down is back on the timer. You can set the timer with that little dial there for the amount of time it comes on. So that's how to change the filter. Now with the shock, I just get it running like this and just pour this right into here. Hold on a second. So yeah, while it's running, open the bag up. I just dump it right in there. It just ensures that it goes through and gets out there. And the blue tab very simply gets put right in this duck here. So the duck unscrews from this holding part and I just dump this back in here. I try not to touch it because it's chlorine or bleach. And then you just screw the duck back on. Once you get the tab in there, duck just screws back on. And you just want to make sure here that there's a bunch of these open. Throw it in the pool, you're good to go. Um, I would just continue to use the net to clean up the pool periodically. This cover just goes back on like this. Throw away the things here, cover this back up, and that's that.